Good morning folks. I would like to do a simple tutorial on depth of field. Now, for a lot of people, including myself, depth of field can be quite confusing and quite daunting. So, in my travels, I've managed to find a little website which should hopefully clear up any confusions about depth of field. Okay, so this is what we do. I'll talk you all through you know, where the website is and how we can set it up and use it. So first thing you do is go to your web browser. In this case, mine is Firefox, but it doesn't matter. Okay, you can just ignore that review now or remind me later, it doesn't matter. Right, so the website is www dof simulator dot net so of course dof is for depth of field simulator dot net press enter right when you first get to the website you'll get this box in the way that's just asking for a survey that's finding just press the X there get rid of that and also at the top we've got a, a cookies message that's fine, just press OK, I understand. Right, what we are going to do now is let me just explain that um, there's a mobile version which I've not actually used and there's an offline version which I've used and downloaded and I've actually checked as well for viruses and it's clean, it's fine. So, just very quickly going through this from top to bottom. Um, I'm a metric guy, so I'm going to use metric as opposed to imperial which is inches and feet. So click metric. Now the next box down, the appearance, is pointing to what's in the box there. So a woman, a man. So the default is woman. And the background is going to be mountain, city, Paris. Again, default is Paris. Now we've got portrait and landscape. Um, portraits default is landscape. Default means that's what it's set up to be when you open it for the first time. Um, portrait will be that's a portrait. If you're standing in a photo and having a portrait taken of you, that's the sort of shape it'll be in portrait. Let's have landscape. Right now the next section down it says lens. Um, when you get an SLR lens, basically the one that you stick to the front of your camera, um, you'll get the maximum that your lens can go to, for example 300 or 24. So human eyesight will be about 50. Okay, So if you can't get it exactly, you can actually type that in. So that'll be human eyesight basically like a piece of glass it'll be 50 so we'll go to we'll go to let's go to 50 um, we'll do a practical example um, the next one is the F setting let's choose 5.6 see it's changing <coughs> what I was saying this should be your F5.6 expensive lens 2.8 even more expensive, even more expensive, and then remortgage your house, okay, for that type of lens. Right, so let's stick at 2.8, so if you look it sort of blurs out. Um, now the next section down will be a sensor type. Um, in this case, let's see, let's try camera model, make, so I've got the Canon, If you want to photograph something really, really close up, I don't know, like an ant or a beetle or something, you will go really low down in your F setting 
and if I'm focusing on the girl here for example something at such a low F setting with a slight movement I could lose focus, let's say I focus on her eyes um, any slight movement and that'll go out of focus but if you go to something, let's say 5.6, it's a little bit more forgiving you know, you could move your camera and go out of focus slightly from the eyes and the rest will be in focus um, so if you want something like I don't know, the stars to infinity you'd go on a pretty high F setting and you'd have the girl in focus you'd have something at infinity in focus like the stars and whatever okay so that is just the very quick tutorial on this website which is doffsimulator.net now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to download it so what you can do is you can go to offline version and let's click on it let's do it this way, this will be simpler I want to get the portable version so left click on that when that pops up and you save file right, so close that, so now that is saved to my, desk, um, to my downloads folder so I can minimize that right click, go to explorer go to downloads and then I've got my little DOF simulator which is there I can copy that let's create because it's a standalone version you can actually just put on your desktop so create a folder by right clicking going to new folder let's call it I don't know DOF simulator so you can't see the file now um, it's actually in memory it's between cut and paste it's like in the world between cut and paste which is called memory so I can right click and paste that and that's there okay so now I have something called WinRAR installed so what I can do is I can right click on the actual file WinRAR is free by the way um, and you can let's say extract to a folder so it knows what the folder is going to be called so left click it creates another folder here the yellow one so you literally just double click on that double click on it again and we've got the actual file the exe which is an executable which basically means you can click on it and it runs so double click on that and you come up with this box you click on the UK one and you've got exactly what we had before so if I go offline or we'll lose internet connection we've still got exactly the same as what was on the website um, I would go to the website and give them a bit of encouragement because it's great it's a great little app I found and it's free so I hope that's helped um, if there's any questions please post them on our Facebook page if I've made any mistakes just let me know please